Hey guys and welcome back to another Python Quick Tips. In today's video we're going to be talking about the bin function which is also known as the binary equivalent function. So what this does is return to you a string that represents any integer number as a binary number starting with the letter 0b. Now I'll show you what I mean by that. Essentially if I print out bin of num this is going to turn 23 into a binary number. When I print this, you see we get 0B10111. Now the 0B just stands for this is a binary equivalent. And actually the type that's returned by this is a string and not some kind of number. There's no specific type in Python for a binary number. It just gives you a string. Now this is important because if we try to do something like turn our binary number back into an integer, I'll show you what happens. So notice this is our binary number. Uh, now I'm just going to remove the 0B from it. And the way that you can do that, since this is a string, is just by indexing and getting from index to onward, which means we're going to start here and go to the end of the string. So when I do that, you see we get 10111. Now let's just convert this into an integer by putting int and let's see what we get. I mean, in theory, you think we should get 23 back because you're going to convert from a binary. But what we really end up getting is the same thing with the actual 10,111, which obviously was not the same number that we converted into binary. So just be aware of that. Once you go into binary, you cannot go backwards unless you have some like weird conversion method and you've written something to do that. But anyways, that's kind of how bin works. I'll show you one more thing here on how we can actually use this on our own type of objects. So this is a really basic object I've set up. I just called it my object. I know I'm extremely creative. And anyways, what we can actually do is we can write this underscore underscore index underscore underscore index method um, as a part of any of our objects and this will return what we want to convert into binary so i know you might be confused here but just watch what happens essentially what i get here is when i call bin on my object since i've implemented the uh, functionality of this i return self.x plus self.y which in this case is actually going to be the value four. So right here is going to be four and then that's converted into the binary equivalent which is one zero zero now I know this is strange, but essentially whenever you call bin on an object that has this implemented on it, what it will do is return some integer value and then just turn that integer value into the binary equivalent, which is what we've done here. You can see if I add three here and I do this now, we get five as the binary equivalent. So one, zero, one. And obviously I know I can mess around with this and go for, oh, not S. We can go for 10 there and you can see that we get a new binary number. So that is kind of how the bin function works. Sometimes it's useful when you want to work with binaries and you don't want to have to convert them manually. With that being said, that has been it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and let me know what you want to see on the future with Python quick tips.